four of the ten teams in the American won or shared a piece of their conference championship a year ago. We're now with one of the coaches who had a piece of that, Kyle Flood, uh, head coach of the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Coach, uh, we were at the de facto championship game a year ago broadcasting nationally. Uh, it's a game that you guys probably feel like you kind of let slip away. And we talked with uh, one of your uh, linebackers just a short while ago, Kevin Snyder, about that. And he kind of felt like he, he left something out on the field that maybe um, it was a missed opportunity. How do you take that moment and build on that for this year to see if you can't, you know, actually end up on the top side of things? So many things from last year that we're proud of as a football program. Uh, the first year of the conference title that we've ever had in the history of our program. And, and I think those steps along the way are critical anytime you're building your program. But you're right. There were some things at the end that, that we left on the table. And, and we were certainly disappointed about. I think those are the things that really motivate you as you get into your offseason. And they drive your football team. But, but as we get ready to play this season, you have to put them in the past. This is a new season. Everybody starts 0-0. Zero zero. We've got new teams to play, new challenges this year, and a lot of games to play before we get to play at Louisville later in the season. Not only do you put those things away, but you put away the fact that you had so much familiarity uh, with you know the teams that you've been playing three and four years, the guys that you are all recruiting uh, against each other, and you kind of get a sense of of who has talent and what kind of talent it is, and you know who runs that set, and and all those type of things are out the door. You're in a new conference, a new situation. You're going to see some teams that you're unfamiliar. With how do you prepare a team that 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 had motivated themselves with with how how the season ended for you last year and now the the uh, kind of disruption or the or or or, or that, that transition period that you're going through as a conference um, leader. The important thing for us was that we're in a conference that gives us access to what we want, and this conference does that for us this year. We have an opportunity to play for a conference championship. Our conference champion is going to play in the BCS. At Rutgers, that's what we want. We want the opportunity to continue to win championships. Every year, those challenges surface. Sometimes it's because you have new teams, which has happened a couple times to us in the last couple of years in our conference play. And But your non-conference schedule changes every year, right. and those are new challenges. And even sometimes in your conference schedule, coordinators change, head coaches change, and that's almost like playing a new team, even though you do have some familiarity with the personnel, that, that I don't think we have that liberty of this year. All right, so your team is preseason pick for third in this league, so you're obviously considered to be one of the potential contenders here, um, but I know that it's a position that Rutgers is uh, used to over the last couple of years anyway from where this team has been, so what does it take specifically with what you have uh, coming back this year, what does it take to put your team on that top level? I think it's two things. Uh, for us as a, as a football program, we have to take the next step on offense. And, and with our quarterback coming back, having started all 13 games, Gary Nova has an opportunity to do something that no quarterback at Rutgers has had an opportunity to do since 2008, which is take that experience and now build on it. And I feel like he's done that. He had a great winter program, a great spring practice, a great summer program. I know he's anxious to get started this Thursday when we open training camp. But, but our offense taking the next step. That that's going to be critical to what we want to do this year. And then finding the younger pieces of our defense. We've played defense at a very high level at Rutgers over the last eight years and with a lot of different faces. And now some new faces are going to get their turn to show us what they can do. Before we move on to defense, which I know was a strong suit last year, bringing in a new offensive coordinator this year, Ron Prince, who was once a head coach at, at Kansas State. So how will he make a difference for you? How do you hope he makes a difference for a guy like Gary Nova? A great opportunity for for us, Dave Brock, my office coordinator last year, had a chance to move on to the University of Delaware and be a head coach and fulfill one of his dreams. I couldn't be happier for Dave and his family, his wife Karen and their children. But anytime there's change, I think you have an opportunity. And there was a tremendous opportunity for us at Rutgers to, to make a great hire and somebody who can really take our offense to the next level. And I think Ron could do that. Ron and I have known each other for a long time, having both started as offensive line coaches. And then we played Ron when he was there. 
the head coach of Kansas State in the Texas Bowl back in 06. And I think the, probably the most valuable thing that he will bring to our offense is his experience in the NFL over the last three years. Two of them with the Colts, the opportunity to be around Peyton Manning and a tremendous coaching staff out there for two seasons. It, it's going to really give our players a chance to take our system and make it just a little bit better and take advantage of all the things that when you have a returning quarterback and an upperclassman offensive line, a guy like Brandon Coleman, two tight ends that are returning, a tailback, a fullback, there's a lot of pieces that have played a lot of football. That has to give you the ability to take your offense and do just a little bit more, which should help you take advantage of matchups. A Rutgers fan's going to see that seven-step drop hit the back foot, balls coming out uh, like we're used to seeing. They will. And the, the way our offense looks, I don't know that that will be much different than what they've seen over the last eight seasons. But I think what they're going to see is a better version of it. And my optimism and my excitement about it comes from, like I said before, or Gary's ability to play in all 13 games and now go through an entire offseason. Some of the things I've watched Coach Prince, Prince do with that offense through the spring. And then being around the players, the guys like Brandon Coleman, guys like Caleb Johnson on the offensive line. Seeing some of the younger players, a guy like Keith Lumpkin who's moving into the left tackle spot. He's got a chance to really allow us to move Caleb Johnson inside and maybe be just a little bit better up front. A guy like Batim Jari who returns at center, who now will be in his third year of playing on the offensive line for us. All those things really lead to all the excitement and the optimism that I have for our offense right now. All right, so let's flip it to the other side because defense was a strong suit. You were 10th nationally, yards allowed, 6th against the run, ninth in take. Ways, fourth in scoring defense as well, and yet you lose a defensive player of the year in Kasim Green, Steve Boharnas, which is who's in an NFL camp right now with the Patriots. Who steps in? Who fills the role so you can keep that momentum going? And we've been through that before, and we've had some players, Devin and Jason sure. McCourty, move on to the NFL, a guy like Jamal Westerman move on to the NFL, and Brandon Rankard as a linebacker. Mm -hmm. We have to, the guys who get a chance to fill in are guys like Steven Longa, a guy like Kevin Snyder, who's here with us at the media days. You know, those are the players that are in our program. Kevin played for us, uh, Steven redshirted, but now they have an opportunity to move in and really show what they can do in the Rutgers defense. And then we have a secondary where you have four players who move on to the NFL out of your top five in the secondary that creates that creates a lot of opportunity and that position more than any on our team there's going to be opportunity not just for the guys on our team team but really for the freshmen that are coming in this year can we say that it seems to us from our vantage point uh, that the New England Patriots like Rutgers players <laughs> they do and, and and the Tampa Bay Bucks <laughs> like them as well yes so, well with that one we bet that one we get, but you're, you're gaining the attention of some significant people in the NFL. Absolutely. So you're in the way that you're instructing, teaching, coaching these guys. And uh, seven players drafted, four or five more signed as free agents. We couldn't be prouder of those guys. And I think what it shows is that we're training our players the right way. Right. Not just from a football aspect, but from how to prepare, how to, how to take care of your body how to go through your everyday life and stay focused as a football player because nowadays with all the social media and everything else going on it's, it's easier and easier to become distracted as a football player and, and these are things that we try to ingrain in our players at all times and teach them how to do it the right way teach them how to be a professional so that when they move on it's always going to be a transition but that transition becomes just a little bit easier biggest challenge for you this year coming off nine and four playing for a conference championship Another bowl game as well. Biggest challenge for Rutgers. I think the biggest challenge for us is, is to continue to move the program forward even though the faces have changed. And that's a part of college football. And the programs that are able to sustain success over time, they're able to integrate those younger players in with the returners, the established players, guys like Kevin Snyder, who technically wasn't a starter but played a lot of football for us, and, and continue to have success as you do. And I think that's the, the greatest challenge for our program right now but as I said last year when I thought the time was right for Rutgers to win championships I feel the same way this year it's just with some different faces All right, coach uh, best of luck this season you get it started on August the 29th on the road you got a nice road
trip. Fresno State. You couldn't have uh, moved any closer to, uh, you know, Piscataway, huh? Well, if you were going to pick a first game with a young secondary, why not go out and play against one of the better quarterbacks? Backs in the country. <laughs> we'll find, we will find out right away exactly nothing, where nothing we're at. Nothing like seeing what you got right off That's the bat. That's right. It'll right? be a great test for us on defense and on offense. And I know it's going to be a great environment out there. And Coach DeRoyer's done a tremendous job taking over that program. So we're looking forward to the challenge. All right, Coach. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you. Good luck to you, Coach. Thank Kyle you, guys. Florida.